Hey guys, welcome back to Mike's Place. St. Louis Bourbon Society, what's happening, what's new? Uh, welcome back to my new and improved bourbon lounge, bourbon vault, uh, speakeasy, <sighs> man cave, whatever. But I'm finally out of the ugly storage part of the basement next to that main drain that was always behind me. And now I have a nice little customized spot to store my stuff, to enjoy whiskey with friends, uh, or to hide and put a movie on Netflix and chill out on the couch and watch a movie, um, whatever. But welcome back. I'm glad you guys are here. And while you're hanging out at my bar, I might as well talk about something that is right behind me. And that's that beautiful sign that was made by Matt Bay, um, also known as Old Man Bay signs. Uh, he is in his workshop, he, he hand routers uh, barrel heads and signs, his custom work, does a great job. And uh, I lucked out and got this on my wall. So if you want one, I'll put a link down below and uh, you can find uh, Matt Bay and hopefully order some in from him. In the meantime, why are we here? There's been a lot of chatter about this bottle in St. Louis in Missouri. Uh, I'm not sure out of state if it's even if it, if it even is available out of state, but that is this is Ben Holiday um, Bottle and Bond Missouri Bottle and Bond Bourbon, and it's pretty special. Um, you can see I've already been into this bottle a little bit. Um, I wanted to try it, think about it for a while, let it sit. Uh, some people believe the neck pour is the bad pour. I don't know if I believe that, but there is quite a bit of airspace now. It's been open a little over a week, and I haven't come back to this for a few days. So um, I brought this to the bottle share we had at Lit Cigar Lounge last Wednesday, and I brought well, I brought several bottles actually. I think this kind of got hidden in the bunch that I brought, so I'm not sure if anybody there had a chance to try this. I didn't really keep an eye on it, but um, anyway, what is this all about? Well, Ben Holiday. I'm going to give you kind of the long and the short. The history is that Ben Holiday, in his day, in the 1800s in Kansas City, was a pretty wealthy dude. And he had a lot of fingers and a lot of pies, a lot of investments. And he uh, owned what later became uh, Wells Fargo as far as uh, stagecoach service, delivery service. So the bottle has a stagecoach on it to memorialize that work, I believe. Uh, there was a distillery. Uh, that was built um, that produced whiskey and then it closed down uh, and it was purchased by uh, some investors back in I think 2014. It was called the McCormick Distillery and they renamed it Ben Holiday because uh, well, I think they wanted to make sure that you know it's all about history and whiskey and not about spice rack stuff. I have no idea if the McCormick name has anything to do with the spices or not. It doesn't really matter. The point is, this product is a six-year Missouri Bottled and Bond bourbon. And that's significant because if you know Bottled and Bond, you know that it is some of the most um, uh, highly watched, regulated, ruled spirit in the world. Not only must it be follow bourbon guidelines of being 51% corn aged in new charred oak barrels made only in America, blah, blah, blah. But Bottle and Bond also includes aspects of it being 100 proof. It has to be distilled by the same master distiller in the same distillation season, uh, stored in a um, bonded warehouse. There's a lot of oversight with Bottle and Bond. But the Missouri Bottle and Bond designation adds even more rules, even more oversight. The corn has to be Missouri corn. The barrels have to be Missouri barrels. So even more hoops to jump through to make this a very highly localized product. In the end, you have a bottle of whiskey that is either meh, okay, good, pretty good, excellent. Well, what has been holiday? Let's dive into this. And also, I love this, a screw cap. Love it. Thank you. I'm not against corks, but I know when that cap is tied on there, this whiskey is secure. So, 
Let's dive into this one. The nose on Ben Holiday. Golly. It's candy-like. If you've ever had vanilla uh, taffy, uh, Charleston Chews, it has that kind of white vanilla sweet candy-like smell. Also, it's very corny. Kettle corn. There's this light kind of waving spice. I can't put my finger on the spice, but um, it's easy to fall back and say it's got a pepper or a white pepper spice. That may be it, but I think it's something else. Cardamom-like. Um, regardless, uh, when I score whiskey for myself, it's always a zero, one, two, uh, one, Expected two, exceptional zero, something's wrong. This is a two in the nose, and boy, it's got some legs for being a hundred proof uh, bourbon. So, really highly, almost orange, almost a little bit of orange zest or orange candies in there, like those those um, orange candy slices that are rolled in sugar. All right, let's go in for a taste. Hmm. Mouth coating, that sweetness is consistent from the nose. Wow. I'm going to think on that sip for a second. I really enjoy it. Um, I also, in the first part of this video, I focused on some uh, pictures of the side of the bottle. They provide a lot of information. They show, this is from Warehouse C, that 21% of this bottle came from the first floor of Warehouse C, and... The rest of it came from floor five. On the other side of the bottle, it talks about it being distilled in the spring of 2016, bottled spring of this year, and the bottling date was May 27th. So they're giving you a lot of information, and that is a huge plus if you're a nerd like me and you want to know as much information as possible about what you're buying, what you're drinking. This is going to be up your alley. The palette on this It's a light palette. It's lightly sweet. That cardamom spice cuts right through. The pepper jumps to the back of the palate. The sweetness on the nose is not as sweet on the tongue. Um, this is not a big, rich bourbon. This is, if you like Eagle Rare, Heaven Hill 7, Bottle and Bond, which I have, like this one. Um, if you're a fan of a bottle like this, um, the holiday has a lot of what this one has going on. And I'll tell you what, this bottle is 55, 60 bucks retail. If you can even find it, I think it's 70, 80 secondary. Um, you know, Eagle Rare, one of those back. Oops, I'm gonna kick something over here. Um, you know, Eagle Rare. If you're an Eagle Rare fan, I think this is going to be your jam as well because it has that mellow, light vanilla complexity that this is known for as I break things. Um, but again, this is about 40 to 50 bucks retail if you, if you can find it. Uh, secondary is going to be almost double that for a non-store pick. So, um, you know, I have three bottles here that are all solid bourbons. Um and they're all in the same price range. So I'm going to put these to the side. So Holiday, um, the, the palette, it's got exactly what I want. I have to give it a one. Uh, it's not complex, but it's very good. And the finish is a one as well. Um, it's expected flavors. Nice hundred proof heat. It's mellow. It's an easy drinker. So I give this a four out of six on my scale. That's a solid score, a solid buy. Now this is about 50 bucks-ish like these guys over here are, um, but this is craft distilled. This is Missouri product, Missouri guidelines, Missouri bottle and bond, a six year product. I have so much respect for what they're doing um, at Ben Holiday at the McCormick Distillery and um, huge props to sitting on this for six years and putting out a solid pour versus putting out something that is less than stellar. So um, do I think this is a must buy for me it is because um, I don't want to disregard Missouri distilleries. I have I've yet 
until this one to find one that I really, really, really like. And I do like this very much. And I haven't had every Missouri craft whiskey out there, so I'm not um, not casting dispersions on the craft whiskey scene in Missouri. Just in my limited samplings, this one is, is really top of my list um, for products local. So if you support local, if you like good whiskey, if you like those two over there, I think it's a great buy. Um, guys, thanks for tuning in. It was long-winded, but... Whiskey on, have fun, and I'll see you soon.